Hey, I'm Kirsten. Welcome, let's go crash my kitchen. This is the kitchen. Uh, the kitchen is mostly used for people kind of not at home because we entertain a lot. So because we entertain a lot, we have a lot of things that help us with entertaining, such as all this amazing glassware. Uh, my husband is a very good mixologist and we have tons of glassware because we have tons of friends who come over. Uh, the thing I think we like the most about entertaining is that a lot of our friends don't necessarily know each other. They come from different fields and work in different spaces and we get them all together and kind of mix them up and they get to enjoy a nice drink and, and perhaps a cappuccino afterwards and uh, that's kind of how we roll. We're pretty busy people so a lot of our dinners tend to be Foodorid or Uber Eats but uh, we make sure that we get a good breakfast in us before we start. So this is the fridge obviously. Um, nice big handle, sometimes gets stuck. Uh, these are Vega shakes. To kind of get around the fact that we don't necessarily eat the healthiest all through the week, we use the Vega protein shakes, mix them up with some blueberries and some kale. There's this many in the fridge when my husband is away. He makes them for me before he leaves because he knows I don't like the sound. We have a Vitamix right over there. Um, I don't like the sound of the Vitamix. I'm okay with like using power tools and all kinds of things, but for some reason the Vitamix drives me crazy. So he knows I'm not gonna do it when he's gone. He will pre-make all these shakes for me, so we have to buy the lids and uh, we keep them nice and fresh. So this is kind of what I live on when he's gone. And the customary kind of leftover takeout uh, dishes. This is Indian that we uh, ordered earlier in the week. Um, also, you know, we depend on a lot of kind of easy food in the freezer. Again, it's a lot of kind of prepared stuff. We just discovered the halo top. We've got tons of halo tops here. Enjoying that, the girls really love those. Um, also what our daughter really loves, it, this is um, paratha. So paratha is a traditional you know, Pakistani Indian uh, dish. Uh, this is uh, made with meat in between. So two layers of kind of roti that my uh, mother-in-law makes, puts together with some lovely seasoned meat that my father-in-law makes, and this is what our youngest daughter loves to eat for lunch. She, we fry it up, serve it with yogurt, and uh, she's addicted to the paratha. When you do a lot of entertaining, there's tons of plates and dishes and uh, glassware. Amazing to have two dishwashers. We can load them up, have them going at the same time. It makes it really easy when you have so many people over and tons of dishes laying around. Um, speaking of dishes, uh, this is what we use. When the dishwashers are unloaded, there's enough for like 16 in here. Um, all white plates, white plates, white bowls, white serveware. It's the crate and barrel. It's just easy to pick up. You can replace them easy. If a guest drops them uh, and uh, there's some kind of an accident, you don't, they don't feel guilty because it's not like your finest chinaware, but at the same time, it's nice and clean and, and simple and it goes with everything. You can put interesting chargers underneath. Sometimes we do that. We have some copper chargers, stuff like that, so that you can make it look dressy, but white, I find, is a way to go. Oh, that's the Vitamixer that I'm afraid of, uh, that my husband uses for me. And this is my amazing multi-burner stove. Um, this is new because before, when we inherited the condo from the last owners who put this lovely kitchen in, they were better chefs than I am ever gonna be. They actually had something called a French top stove, which is like this much of the stove was used up by this huge um, ring uh, that left me only like two burners to use. Me having British parents and my husband having Pakistani Indian background and parents, it, we do a lot of frying. And so burners are a complete necessity. So I'm really happy that we bought this stove because it, the stovetop is the most used thing in the, in the house. We also host all the family events, Christmas dinners, birthday parties, um, any kind of big event happens here and you really can't do it on two burners, which is what I had. I kind of felt like I was back in university. So really happy that we did this. I also don't use that machine at all, the cappuccino machine that you saw in the beginning. That's my husband, he uses it. Um, we use it for guests, they have a little cappuccino after dinner. I don't, I have tea. I have tea like six times a day. And so when you have tea six times a day, you really don't want to have the same tea over and over again. So this is my stash. I have, you know, all kinds of strainers. Um, this is the, my collection of tea. There's even extra tea up here. 
um, and some other goodies. Uh, you know, I like to mix them. This is my version of mixology. I bought this wedding breakfast tea. I was very excited to find it uh, at William Sonoma. I thought it was for Meghan Markle and for Harry, but it's not. It's the last wedding wedding breakfast tea, but I'm still happy to have it. I'll still celebrate, use that when they get married later on this uh, in May. To me, nothing is better than a cup of tea, no matter where you are, what time of day. Uh, and that is the, my tea stash. Above my tea stash, <laughs> I keep my extra books. I wrote a book about three years ago. Random House published it, it's called Our Turn. People are very sweet and they often say, hey, I never got that copy. And so I grab them and, and this is the paperback and the hardcover versions are up here. And of course, extra tea. And uh, so when I do all that holiday baking, it's in these double ovens, which I'm really, really grateful for. You can you know, cook at two different temperatures. Uh, it's great for big meals when we serve all the family when they come for the holidays. It's amazing. Uh, and this is our illustrious wine cellar. Uh, I'm not a big wine drinker, and you've just seen all my tea. That's what I drink. Um, we do those serve for guests, and so we use the, the fridge for some lovely you know, wines for guests. Um, and we use it for fruit because <laughs> that's kind of like why waste all this lovely space and watch out for the cords. It's important to have these charging stations because we are always accessible. We're always working and actually there is a call coming in. So I'm sorry. I have to say goodbye. Thank you for coming. Bye.